Things for Disney are just getting worse. Some of you may remember the article from last month where Disney planned to lay off 7,000 employees from ESPN parks and other divisions to save an estimated $5.5 billion. Well, last week it got a little bit worse. With the fight with DeSantis, Disney is now planning to cancel another 2,000 jobs and revoke the $1 billion plan to move employees from California to Florida like they'd ever go anyway. They hate Florida as it is. But let's do a little dive into this. Walt Disney is scrapping plans to build nearly $1 billion corporate campus in Central Florida that would have had 2,000 employees, according to an email to employees on Thursday, against the backdrop of its ongoing legal battle with Florida Governor DeSantis. Disney Parks Chief Josh DeAmaro said changing business conditions prompted Disney to reconsider its 2021 plan to relocate employees, including its Imagineers who designed the theme park rides, to a new campus in Lake Nona. The company was expected to spend as much as $864 million on the project, according to Orlando Sentinel on a campus that would have served as a base for Walt Disney Imagineering at the Disney Parks Experience and Products Division. Disney's decision to move the California-based Imagineering staffers across the country drew complaints from employees, many of whom said they don't want to move to Florida. Go figure. Given the considerable changes that have occurred since the announcements of this project, including new leadership and changing business conditions, we have decided to not move forward with the construction of the campus, Demaro wrote. This was not an easy decision to make, but I believe it's the right one. And I wonder if it has anything to do with this. Disney is closing its immersive Star Wars hotel a year after it opened. Maybe it has something to do with this. The fact that you walk off a ramp and jump into a box truck for your immersive experience. Aerial look at the truck left with a simulation inside transport shuttle flight between the Halcyon spaceship and the planet below, Galaxy's Edge. A similar transport shuttle door is on the other side of the truck. This hotel was an absolute billion dollar disaster. We can thank Kathleen Kennedy for that one. So jumping back into the hotel closing down, in the end it was perhaps a galaxy too far. Walt Disney World's ambitious but ultra pricey Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser $1,200 per person per night hyper immersive sleepover experience is being shattered for good at the end of September, roughly 18 months after opening the company announced Thursday. But maybe it has something to do with this atrocity. We got the new Kylo Ren that everybody absolutely hates. Fighting off with, you guessed it, Rey not Skywalker. The choreography is just god-awful. And you were paying $1,200 a night for that. So guys, if you like this content, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll have a new video out for you guys shortly.